Greetings! Stay a while and listen to me, Marauder X, as we play more Shining Soul 2. Alright, so we're still here in the cold as heck cave. I, <coughs> I also missed that the last place, the desert, was dry as heck. I, 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 I completely missed that. So, you know, things to keep in mind. Alright, um, I thought I was here, but I guess I'm here? No. I, I'm, I'm recording this a little later than what I did the previous time, so I don't quite remember where, what, what stage I was, what, I say stage, um, but really I thought we had just dealt with the bomb section. But, um, I think we're in section 10. I think we might actually be in section 10. We'll see. Um, I'm like, I didn't think I was that far ahead, but we'll find out. I don't, I don't like don't like a lot of the enemies that are going to be... Stop running away. Stop running away. Alright, I feel like this is a trap. It was! Can I get through this? I don't... I don't know if I can. That's... Come on, you need to die. There we go. That's, yeah, okay. What's what's in here? What was that? I missed it. It's a, a bitchwa. <laughs> I feel like that's an insult, but sure. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm on 10. That's, that's what this is. Um, so I'm gonna heal. And then we're gonna go down here. Oh, no, no. Um, I wanted to save the soul power, but I really don't like these things. So I'm just gonna do that. Just gonna do that. Oh, hey, look. Ow, you guys hurt almost as bad. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, sure. And we've just got a group of yetis. Okay. I, I have less HP than I would like. For, and another yeti. I don't know what you are, but I want nothing to do with you. Ooh, okay. Heal up. And heading down. Alright, so that was 11. We're on 12. Alright, so there's a hidden path right here. That's... Mm, I joke around that, you know... So many of my friends are like, anytime you play... Ooh, a power wine. Yeah, this is why I, I use the soul power on these things, because it's so difficult to kill them, because just running into them seems to, you know, kill you. And there's another one. And I do very little damage to them most of the time, honestly. Um, I, I kind of, I'm going to keep this power line. There is an item duplication trick. I'm not great at it, but it exists. So that's, that's a thing to keep in mind. That you can duplicate items. And power wine is 
one of those items you want to duplicate. And I'm actually kind of surprised I got one. Alright, um, let's go ahead and recover all of our SP. Um, we've got the boss. Let's see, who are you? You have finally come. My name is Vitali. For many years I have trained here as a sage. No longer does pure light exist in this land. Light and darkness have become intertwined, thus making their power impossible to command. Now all that remains is chaos. The balance has been disrupted. Come now. Alright, so... We've got to fight this guy, and oh, he he sucks, especially that that initial volley. So you have to destroy his legs. Uh, hey, I leveled up. Wonderful. And th this is really all he can do to attack you. But you can't attack his head until all of his limbs are destroyed. And so the downside of that is, depending on which side he's facing, his limbs may not come out like this. Like, I can't do anything because I know he still has a limb. At least one. Ow. I really need to heal. Oh god, no! Oh! oh. And... Oh! Oh! <laughs> You, sir, are a dick. Alright, now we can attack his head. And he will actually kind of attack back. Which, you know... Except he just kind of flails in random directions. And let's heal. And just beat the crap out of him. And that's really it. He's not difficult. It's just, you know, making sure you can get away from him. You are a true warrior. Okay, so I have been both a sage and a swordsman. But the power of light no longer mine is no longer mine to command. I sacrificed everything that I've learned. In order to gain the tremendous power of chaos. Even so, I was no match against your pure power. May that power protect you along your journey. And we just, we kill him. I get, like, I don't really think he was a bad guy. And face balloons. I don't want the face balloons. Jeez. Ah, Jerholt. You've returned from the cave. Well done. Uh, thanks so much. Yes. I was finally able to meet Gillespie. Camille, who is that? Uh, I've been chasing after him all this time. He's an alchemist. I saw him in town, and... Oh, Camille, you're already at that age. That's why you keep leaving? You made us so worried. Alright, so she's in love with an alchemist. As long as his name's not Edward. <laughs> or Alphonse. The crystal, it's getting even cloudier. I see, then it must be true. Dear, do you have any idea what it means? It means we're screwed. <laughs> Shows the balance between light and dark in the world. So what we saw just now is power of darkness has grown. The crystal has been passed down through the years, but never before has anyone seen such dramatic changes. The spread of darkness may be faster than we thought. Protect the whole protect this country. No, no, better yet, the world. I do not want to push you any harder, Jerhalt, but I must fulfill my duties as king first. Please go to the mainland one more time. The army of darkness must be gathering at the tower. I heard long ago that demons lurk there. That's true. I have heard bad things about it, too. <laughs> Thanks. You'll be okay, even in a place like that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, we have a bunch of stuff. 
Let's see, we've got a Jur, which is a Lightning Jur. We've got a Bichwa, <clears throat> which is a weapon I can't use because it requires Claws level 3. But Bichwa of Skill. Um, well, I have a level up. Let's see. And I have enough to get Claws level 3. So we can use the Bichwa. Alright, so let's see. We've got 51... <clears throat> Jeez, I have no idea what's up with my voice at the moment. Ah, We have 51, 45, 29, and 38. Let's see. 29. Let's do 30. 1, 2, 1, 2. Well, it's... So, the level up guide says one, two, three, four. But that, that, that doesn't, that, that evens, that evens things out. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um,. There, I like that. That's good. 54, 50, 31, 40. And we've got Claws level 2 and 1 skill point. So let's equip the Bichwa. And it's a Lightning. And it's a plus 3, so we get... We're losing some de inter intelligence, but we're gaining some dexterity. And I could probably sell both of those. Like... That's nice to have for ice. And I might sell the face balloons. I don't need them because I'm not going to be playing multiplayer. Um, let's see. I'm, I've got one in here. I thought I did. Oh, did I already sell it? I may have already sold it. Uh, this, however, is going to go in here until I master item duplication. Alright, let's move... Well, let's just go ahead... I, I, I want to keep that one. The wisdom we can sell. Face balloon. Stiletto of power that I can't really do anything with. And the jur, and we could buy a Molotov cocktail. Dark. And a bomb. Let's buy the bomb. And let's buy two more healing drops. And we'll put the rest in storage. Okay, so we've got money and item storage. Weapon and a bomb. And let's see what new stuff is available. Um, so, Power Claw and Bichwa. Those are, and then we've got Kunai, a bank, and a music cord, uh, a jerk, a jerk plus two, a music cord of awe, and a Bank of Virtue. Plus 16 Wisdom. Or plus 16 uh, Intelligence. Holy crap. That's... That's a bit much. Plus 150% damage to undead. Like I said, there is a very interesting knife. I don't know if we'll get it. Let's see. Um... Ring gloves, that would increase my defense by one. And then we've got ring mail. If we have all three of those, we'll get a set bonus. If we have all three of those, we'll get a set bonus. But not really anything we need at the moment. So, um, 
Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Cool. Alright, so now we get to go to the mainland again. Uh, where is the next... What is the next dungeon? So dry as heck desert, cold as heck cave. Uh, mushroom forest technically opens. Um... Uh, after doing the red shoe quest or doing the umbrella side quest, once you've completed one, re-talk to the person. Okay, so let's go do that. Um, so this is kind of a side dungeon. Doesn't really do much of anything, but you... Grandpa went to the mushroom forest and hasn't returned. So now we can go to the Mushroom Forest and we have to rescue him. So you need at least one Angel Wing because we need to go into the Angel... We need to go into the the, the forest uh, and pick up at least one Mushroom during this to save the old man. So... We're gonna go do that. And... Mushroom Forest. Mushroom, mushroom! Oh, this place is ominous. Like, this place is actually ominous. I love the music. It's terrifying. Like, this is a place that I would not want to go to in any other Shining game. Alright, you're dead. I have a, I was about to say, I feel like someone's gonna pop up here, and we've got a mushroom, so we need just one. Because otherwise, we can just continue to pick up a ton of stuff. I don't even know if they are super useful. Um outside of this. Oh god. I, I, I was gonna say, I need to kill that harpy. And kill you, and then there's a secret pathway over here and down that has a flower. I don't know what we need the flower for. But we're gonna grab it. Um, yeah, I I don't know what the flower's for. It's not mentioned. Maybe it's for another side quest. Okay. Let's just kind of move around. Oh, is he just throwing? crap at us and a valuing scroll like, yeah so flower so I'll, I'll take one of each because I don't really know what they're needed for what's interesting is you know after playing uh, the trials of mana uh, remake I can see this game possibly getting, you know, a 3D, you know, revamp like that. I, I, I feel like it could. I feel like it could. Alright, I don't like these mushroom things. They are creepy. And I am, I am out of SP. So let's recover some. Uh, look at the map. Because I am just running through so many charged attacks. Alright. And another harpy. I'm about to say, I'm glad. And there's a secret over here, but there's not really anything over here. I feel like we can come back here and there's going to be something else. Alright, uh, okay, so,
we have to throw a mushroom at him. And he will eat it and wake up. And he's alive. Mazel tov. I was about to die of starvation. By the way, where am I? My girls ate my mushrooms. I came to get some more. You are. Very much so. And... Fly away home. Fly away home. Alright, so, um... So, there's one more, two more, and I don't know if I even want to, to do this, but let's go ahead. Lots of harpies. Alright, they're free XP. Well, not free, because they can actually hurt me. You, you think you were going to bite me? He thought he was going to bite me. Alright, so there is also a secret over here, which is right now just a bunch of mushrooms. So there's different types of mushrooms that have different spawn rates. A mushroom and three toadstools, which is what I got. And then four mushrooms, four flowers, a red mushroom, mushroom, and three toadstools, a matsutake, and three toadstools is apparently the rarest. But, um, I mean, I guess I could get these and sell them? I guess the flower is not worth much. I might put it in storage, but I, I, I can always come back here and get another one. And we have a boss fight. Oh god. Um, I'm just going to use this because holy crap, they're beating the crap out of me. So much so. Alright, so several are already dead. Those two are dead, and it's just you and me now. Come here, you creepy flying chaos brain. How much HP do you have? Come on. Jeez. I was going to say, he is taking forever to die. And... I was going to say, where is... the way out? There it is. And there's no treasure? We get no treasure for beating them? That sucks. Alright, let's go sell all this stuff. Thirty... One. Okay, yeah, that's not worth keeping around. And I need to value... The, well, actually, I'm, I'll use the valuing scroll to save a little bit of money. I mean, I'd rather save it for something that I would use or might want to use in a dungeon, but it's... It, it saved me. It saved me much, because I didn't get a lot from that. That was... That was actually kind of poor. Nope. Want that. And that. And we'll put that... in the bank. And now we go talk to the grandfather, and he'll give us a fancy mushroom that we'll sell for more money, because... 
Let's face it, I'm probably not going to keep it. Uh, here's something for your trouble. Received a Mata Matsutake. That's actually, I mean, I'm not super well-versed in mushrooms, but that's not one I've ever heard of. Shiitake, obviously. But, you know. Let's see, what's... King of Mushrooms. How much does it sell for, this King of Mushrooms? Almost a thousand. Okay. I can dig it. Awesome. So yeah, I will go ahead and end this episode here. And see you all in the next installment. Um, we've got, ooh, an Ice Power Claw. I lose, I lose a little bit, but ice is always nice. Um, and armor. Middle Beret of Purity for 13,000. And Death Resistance plus 10. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I'll see you all in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.